Seriously tried them all. The Canon AE-1 program, the Canon F1, the Yashica T4 Super D. I even had a, I even had a Leica M4P. You know what they said? They said, well, I've got an M6 TTL. What am I supposed to say to an M6 TTL? I can't be superior to that. I don't have that kind of budget. So I finally figured out what to do. I went the other way. Who did the, the fork in the road thing? Frost had the road not taken that made all the difference. But they didn't tell you about that he was talking about how much his life sucked. But not me, I took the other way. My life is way better now with this camera. I know I'm better than them. The Contax G1. This camera really does make you better than everyone, especially at photography. An autofocus rangefinder with amazing Corals Ice Glass. Did we mention you can't manually focus it really? Get out of the auto mode. Professionals use manual. Speaking of professionals, open it all the way up. Look at that lusty iris. And we'll have some more of that in a minute. And I tried to be a good vlogger and record some location sound, but my camera did not agree with me. Anyway, uh, I got some from the GoPro and I'm here testing out this new Contax G1 as you may have gotten a clue about with a first time model that uh, wanted, to, wanted to see what it was like to be in pictures. And it's Catherine and I think she did a great job. And we were just kind of going around finding some spots kind of getting a feel for things. This is the first time I really use this camera. And so this was a double first. It was a first time out with a camera and I hadn't shot portraits with a rangefinder in forever. And it was the first time taking pictures with Catherine. And when you're doing a, a bunch of firsts like this, it helps to be very clear and concise in directions. It helps to really just have a ha, have established kind of what you're going to go for that is just going to be a nice little shoot downtown i think it's really helpful when you can to do a really laid back session and not put a lot of pressure on anyone this is also my first time shooting fuji eterna 250d cinema film which i very kindly got from richard monroe at the film splice store on etsy where you can buy a bunch of really cool reasonably priced cinema film thanks richard link will be in the description back on the subject of the contax g1 this shot back focused pretty badly because of the backlight mostly but the reason you go out on these little kind of expeditions with new gear and people is because you figure out what works and what doesn't and how to make things work and i saw catherine there fixing her earrings and i realized she has a great profile which i shot with the 90 millimeter 2.8 lens that i also have with it i have the 90 millimeter and 35 millimeter lenses i remembered while shooting this shot backlit that i really depend on through the lens viewing to see where my flares are in pictures and stuff like that but i found this to be less difficult than i expected and the parallax didn't bother me although i didn't try to like test it or push it and i shot with a leica and the canonet before so i'm a little used to parallax which is where the viewfinder and your lens don't line up exactly because they're not through the lens so you'll get a difference in framing and you just kind of have to learn to live with and bringing up that profile thing again i just ran with it and i wanted to do some kind of really bold lighting and you'll see here where the 250d meets kodak vision 3 250d and you can see the differences and the colors between the stocks i will say that the fuji eterna 250d is probably pretty expired because they don't make it anymore so there could be some factors in that but anyway it's a nice film and i'm definitely going to be shooting more with it i always try to have a plan a but always try to also be spontaneous and embrace what's going on and we're shooting this photo here and a train came by so i just snapped as much as i could as the train went by i didn't know if the camera would respond right i didn't know if she would but that's how you figure things out and i really like how the flaring worked over the train on the left side of these shots Just look at this thing. This 
camera makes me better than you. This camera is better than me as a person. It makes me superior. The Contax G1. A better camera for a better person. And it's the proof. The Contax G1. Coming soon, the Contax G2. What? Another good thing to do when you're working with somebody who hasn't really been in photos before is to guide them. Like Catherine had her hand on the table and I told her if she put it near the edge, it would kind of shrink the area of the hand in the picture. And it's just, uh, I think it's a good, a good thing to take note of and it helps you practice your posing and basics and things like that. And speaking of trying to get everything we could, whenever I saw a photo present itself, we went for it. And this is another higher angle of trying to get, try to get them looking into the camera, looking away from the camera. If you can get lower angles, this was with the uh, 90 millimeter lens to see how it worked with her face. And we saw this spot after she changed and I loaded up with some Kodak 5222 X film, also sold by Cinestill as Cinestill double or BWWX, that's a, a mouthful. Anyway, the shadows were a little high on there with the, uh, with the roof line of that carport, but you see how fast this stuff moves. And I decided to push the ability of the film and the camera on these this contrast he's seen right at her face, which is practically the most important part of the picture, I guess. It basically is. And I just like pushing things, especially with new materials and even with established ones, just to see. And in that spirit, it's good to remember that you want to take tight shots, wide shots, mid shots of anything anyway and you want to get behind people and to the side of people you want to go full length and mid length and headshot just to get a feel for how they look because uh, if you've ever met like a, an elite model in person or somebody who's kind of like that you'll a lot of times find out that they look uh, almost a little awkward and that's because they look right on camera or when you see somebody who has like long limbs and the reason photographers like long limbs is because they photograph real nicely for clothing display so you've got yeah. to figure out uh, what your person's thing is if they have a thing and most people do what really is their like hook as a model or as a subject and it's highly dependent on a lot of people, but I'll notice people with strong jaw lines, for example, photograph phenomenally well from low, which is not always a great angle for somebody, uh, rarely is. And so that's just a lot of what goes into stuff like this. And you want to just, uh, just really think on your toes and it helps you be more creative, I think. And it helps you kind of get more experience in general and we were genre hopping pretty well and this, this is more just like casual portraits not trying to do anything too serious as, as you might be able to see there and so I just literally went with every idea and as good as it is to have like a theme or a, a project or something you're going for a lot of these moments where you're just out shooting with someone, trying to learn something, trying to figure out something, trying to just enjoy photography, you find a lot of things that work and that can help you tell a story when it's time to tell a story. They're tools of your arsenal, just like the camera and these lenses. I now have a better understanding of these tools. And if you wanna get real objective here, I have a better understanding of this new model, Catherine now is a known quantity to me and of course i don't think of her objectively she's a collaborator and that's a big deal for me but we'll get into that another time anyway that was fun that was a great exercise i now know a lot more about multiple types of film my camera a new model and i'm looking forward to working with all of them again soon subscribe if you enjoyed this turn on notifications Leave a comment, let me know what you think, let me know if you have any ideas or opinions. Click on the left to see YouTube's top pick of my videos for you. And click on the right to see a playlist of all of my vlogs. Thanks and I'll see you next week.